Now at 11, an Orange County Middle School named after a Confederate general is now getting a new name. School leaders voted in favor of that change just hours ago. Yeah, some parents have been pushing for the district to change the name of Stonewall Jackson Middle for years. News 6's Nikki Zizaza joins us outside the school. And Nikki, what's the new name? Well, Ginger, school board members were all on the same page tonight, voting to rename Stonewall Jackson Middle School Roberto Clemente Middle School. There were a dozen speakers all in favor of eliminating the name tied to a Confederate general. And Ginger, no one was in opposition tonight. Instead, the vote got a standing ovation. This is history. It appears the board's decision to rename Stonewall Jackson Middle School is about more than the words hanging on the school building. Not only celebrating Hispanic heritage, black heritage, but our common American heritage. Orange County School Board members voting to rename a school commemorating a Confederate general. Uh, as a Puerto Rican, uh, as a Hispanic American, as just an American and a person that believes in humanitarian work, that the name of Roberto Clemente Walker is being considered. Some of the community's most vocal defenders of the name change weighing in during public comment. I am so happy to tell my son that <laughs> you can probably go to Roberto Clemente Middle School now. Thank you. <laughs> Roberto Clemente is one of the first Latin American professional baseball stars, and the name was one of three favored name options following feedback from staff and students. So I'm really proud because I'm a Puerto Rican. The school principal says the push for change started picking up traction after a former student made the request. School board member Joanna Lopez spearheading the change after a groundswell of calls. I am pleased to offer a motion to rename Stonewall Jackson Middle School to become Roberto Clemente Middle School. The board unanimously approving the name change. Now, the board did not announce when that name change would happen, but they did signal that they would make an event of it and invite the student body. Now, at this time, there is still no clear indication of what may to come. From live in Orlando, Nikki Zaza getting results, News 6. Nikki, thank you.